In this tutorial, we are going to talk about uh, real numbers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, integers, whole numbers, and uh, natural numbers. So to begin with, we are going first to, to talk about uh, complex numbers. We do know that complex numbers is made up of two. It's made up of a um, real part and the imaginary. For example, let's say we have A plus BI. We know that uh, this part here a is a real number is a real number then this part here this is what we call imaginary number you can say imaginary part that is just okay okay so we want to focus on what real numbers okay so we'll come back to uh, complex numbers where we're going to be talking about real number and uh, uh, imaginary numbers okay so let's talk about real numbers so whenever we're talking about real numbers we're talking about uh, any number from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity this number it can be the square root of 2 maybe just the square root of 4 which is just 2 or it can be 1 over 2 1 over 4 it can be pi so all these are real numbers Okay. So as long as we, you have got any number from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity, that number we are going to consider it to be a real number. Okay. As long as it is not part of the imaginary number, then that is a real number. Now, this real number, it is divided into two parts. Okay. It is divided into uh, two parts. We have got what we call rational numbers rational numbers and irrational numbers irrational numbers now let's let's first um talk about irrational numbers whenever we're talking about irrational numbers we're talking about um, the numbers which cannot be expressed in a form of a over b in short you cannot express them in a ratio form okay so irrational number is a number which cannot be expressed in a form of a over b and these numbers are not integers okay so when i'm talking about integers i'm going to explain about integers when we talk about uh, rational numbers now examples of uh, irrational numbers we have got the square root of 2 we have got pi the square root of um, 3 all these are irrational numbers so these numbers you cannot express them in a form of a over b or they cannot be expressed in a ratio form at the same time these are not integers okay so irrational numbers is just alone so that is irrational numbers now let's talk about rational numbers so rational numbers these are numbers which can be expressed in the form of a over b so in short they can be expressed in a ratio form at the same time these are integers so we should also know that b has not to be equal to zero Okay, so rational numbers, these are numbers which can be expressed in the form of A over B. Um, then B has not to be equal to zero. At the same time, these two numbers have got no common factor. They have got no common factor. For example, let's talk about um, 1 over 4. Or let's start with... Um, yes, let's start with uh, 1 over 4. Now, if I'm to get the calculator... 1 divided by 4, we are going to see that it is uh, 0 0.25. Or let me give you another one. Let's say we have we have uh, 2 divided by 3. Okay, so 2 divided by 3, we'll, we'll see that it's going to be 0 0.666 bar. Meaning that this 6 is just repeating. So now, what we have to understand is that... Rational numbers, these are numbers which can be expressed in the form of A over B. Then, these two numbers, they are integers. Quite okay, they can be integers. At the same time, they have got no common factors. As you can see, 2 over 3, it is giving us 0 0.6666666. So, we have got no any common factor, which is there between 2 and 3. Okay? So, those are rational numbers. Now, rational numbers... After rational numbers, we have got what we call integers. 
Now these integers, these are numbers. We can uh, think of negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, and so on. So these are what we call integers. So integer, it can be a negative or positive. In short, all the numbers from the number line, those are integers. Okay. So I've got negative uh, two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. So those are integers. Okay, now from integers we have got what we call a whole number. We have got what we call a whole number. So a whole number, these are numbers starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, then they just keep on going. So those are whole numbers. So from whole number we have got what we call natural numbers. Natural numbers, the only difference between natural numbers and whole numbers is that when I include zero, that is a whole number. If I start counting from one, two, three, four, going forward, that is a, a, a natural number. Okay? So we can see the relationship which is there. So we can see that uh, rational numbers, irrational numbers, integers, whole number, and natural numbers, these are subset of what? Real numbers. So they're all found in real numbers. They are all real numbers. Okay? But a rational number is on its own. Then when, when it comes for rational numbers, we have got integers. From integers, we have got whole numbers. From whole numbers, we have got what? Uh, natural numbers. So now, we can conclude to say, from here we can conclude to say, this natural number, or let me start from here, we have got uh, real numbers. Okay? So this real number is going to be divided into two. Okay? So we have got what we call, here we have got what we call the rational number, okay, the rational number, then from here we also have irrational number, and we have already given some examples, you know, irrational numbers. So again from here, after irrational numbers, we have got what we call the integers, okay. So from integers, we have got what we call the whole number. From whole number, we have got what we call uh, the natural numbers. Now, we can see the relationship which is there. So we can see that natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, Rational numbers and irrational numbers, these are subset of what? Real numbers. They all found in real numbers. So what we are trying to uh, what we are trying to to say here is that real number, real numbers, these are just we can just say this is um uh, the universal set. Okay? So the rational number and irrational number, these are disjoint set. We have got no any intersection which is going to be there. So if we are to restrict this um, on a Venn diagram, then we are going to have this, okay? So if this happened to be our Venn diagram, I want to put all these in just one. If this happened to be my Venn diagram, okay? So here is my Venn diagram. So I know that um, my universal set is real numbers, so that is my universal set. So we have two things, but we know that these are going to be disjoint. So this is what we are going to call irrational number. Some examples we may think of square root of 2 pi even e. Okay, even square root of 3. Then this is going to be now rational number. Okay, rational number. So from rational number, we have got what we call the integer. Okay, we have got what we call the integer. So this is going to be our integer. Okay. From integer, we are, we are going to have what we call the whole number. Okay, so this is going to be our whole number. 
from there we have got what we call the natural numbers so we may, you know the examples of natural numbers that is not a problem so these are going to be natural numbers now we can see the relationship which is there so rational numbers has got uh, the integer on its the whole number and natural numbers but irrational number is just on its own okay then the inverse set is uh, the real number so this is what you are supposed to know under rational numbers real numbers integers whole number natural numbers and irrational numbers okay